Right, I'm just gonna put a little bit of Some amazing things on YouTube. Slices it off. Well, there you go. Chester's going on an adventure today after he's had a bit of cheese. He's going out with his brother and, no, his mum and his sister. Are you excited to see mummy? <laughs> Can you see who's in the car? Who's that? Where are you going, Chester? Where are you going? Stay, stay, stay. Where are stay. you going? Oh, look. Stay, stay, stay. Marla, Marla, in, 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 Exciting. Good boy. You're going on an adventure. Adley's moving his boat round the back, out the way, on the buggy, blocking the shed. Who's <laughs> GP? Oh no, oh, it's Tom. Hey, team. <laughs> so, Tom's here. We're going to try and put the bucket brush on basically what was a bucket that I bought for scrap value. So, when Robin used to work at the plant tire place, and the buckets got damaged, they were obviously scrap. So we bought a few of them at scrap value and over the years we've repaired them and fixed them and used them for various light jobs. Kind of like what we've got on our bucket brush. Anyway, pulled one out of the nettles yesterday. I'm gonna take it around now, see if we can strain it because it's quite badly bent. Put a new wear wrench on it and then fit, hopefully, that brush to it. That's just how bent the bucket is, but we're hoping with the weight of that, we can get it something like. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of weight on with the grab and try it. So it turns out the grab's just got enough power actually to push it straight by picking a hold of it. We've nearly got it straight, it's just a little bump there, so I'm just going to push it with this log. I thought I'd need the bucket on and like have to hit it really hard. As it happens, it's just gently just squeezing, it's doing it. You could use that as a spirit level now, couldn't you? <laughs> just going to cut all this rubbish off here now. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Name that film. While we're doing the bucket, Rob is taking the clutch out of the 1690. And I need a bar, because we're just going to lift this up a little bit. I'm going to go make a drink. I've started, but we've got this massive gap to plug, because obviously it's really badly worn. Uh, we're getting there now. Anyway, Tom's going to have a do while I make a drink. I'm going to go and play. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're waiting. <laughs> the nation's waiting. No, no pressure now. Do you want to question? Like, I use a stick, how do you use this? <laughs> Just put it put it on and pull the button. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, I'll put it on the button was there. <laughs> that was not a good start. Rob's now taking the link arms off, ready to lift the PTO housing out. And then I think that then gives us some slack this end to side the clutch that way, I think, to lift that out. I don't really know. He's um, been watching a guy on YouTube that tells us how to take it apart, so that's what we're doing. There's some amazing things on YouTube. Run out of gas, so we're going to finish that off tomorrow or Monday. Anyway, I'm just going to plug the couple of the ends off. Plugging it off now, but you can, if you hide behind the nozzle, you tilt to the light. The railing's not going off the set. Yeah, the plasma just slices it off like a knife through hot butter. Anyway, so I've been welding here. Then Tom had a go. Then I took over again. And then we ran out of gas. Special person going to do the birthday bumper today. Do you think he knows what he's doing on the camera? <laughs> I am honoured to do the birthday bumper. And today we have 
James Bell, James Gore, Davey and Emily Anderson, 40 and 9. Blake Batty, who is 1. Pamela Campbell. Adam at Hips Show, his 21st birthday. And we have raised, well, Ollie has raised, and a total of £15,914. Absolutely amazing from Ollie and everyone who watches the channel for the Northwest Air Ambulance. And if anyone has missed it, you will be now digital alert uh, because we've done this quite early. Because so Tom's close. going bowling. Yeah, so close to 16,000, by the way. So I think close. we'll hit it tomorrow. And then that'll mean that it'll raise 2,000 pound in three weeks because I think we hit 15,000 on a Sunday. Sorry, 14,000 on a Sunday. That is incredible, by the way. Like yeah. That's what you need. I know, something like this, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. Well done to Alls. Oh, I missed Tom doing a million point turn with the trailer on and backing up. Anyway, he's turned around. He's off now. It's come bowling. Yeah, so we were doing a little project, trying to straighten that bucket, fit that brush to it. We've run out of gas on the welder, which is a bit annoying. Because uh, on Monday, I said, is there plenty of gas in the welder? Yes, but someone had left it turned on. It's been leaking overnight. So we only had a tiny bit today and we can't quite get it done. So we're going to finish that maybe Tuesday night. And then we might even do a live video and do some live cool wall stuff. So I might print some pictures out with some tractors. And then while he's up here, as we finish the brush off, we'll um, get some Polaroid kind of picture size. We'll put them on the cool wall in the workshop because we've not done the cool wall in the workshop for ages. Yeah, we've run out of time doing this bucket, so we'll finish it another night. I'm just going to move it out of the way. We're going to lift the PTO housing off the back of the 1690. So James just turned up for a brew, so we've roped him in to help us take the gearbox out of the 1690. It is nearly ready to lift. Rob the genius, because he's always in front of the camera, not behind the camera, is about to lift them. that box out the back. PTO housing. Go on a bit ball there, Rob. Am I? Yeah. The stress working with you. It's all them women on TikTok. Is that going to come off now if I pull on that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, did you not drain? Hey, look at the lap that's fell out. Juicy. How far should it go? Ta-da! Right, go and put it on the floor now. Boom it. Boom it in. Well, the hitch won't rust. Oh, it's going to go on the guns. Touchdown. That's the differential, which basically means that you can go around a bend. Because if you didn't have a differential on a tractor, you won't be able to go around, in fact, on a car and stuff, you couldn't go around a bend. So what it allows you to do is when you go around a bend, it allows that wheel to go slower than that wheel so that you can go in a loop. Because if they both went the same speed, you won't be able to steer. So they're dead simple. There's a video actually on YouTube of a differential working, which is quite clever. Rob's uh, sucking out the oil. Sounds like trying to eat a McDonald's milkshake. Not with a, not with a paper, paper straw, straw, no. You've got 30 seconds with a paper straw to drink a McDonald's milkshake. That's the PTO drive shaft, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Goes into your clutch and then the spigot bearing on the flywheel. I'm going to type them to me, to you. Where's it going? Hang on. Stuck on flywheel. Can we let a bit of weight off yeah, there? Yeah, get out of it, It's jammed now, isn't it? Oh. Just trying to get the clutch out. Pipe there, isn't it? That needs to come 
cable tie? No, it's a greaser. Ah, for the thrust burner. Mm. This is the clutch plate we've lifted out now, and it's yes. got a little bit of play in it. It's not really worn out that much, but it's not good. Got to get something down here to stop these falling out the back. So I'm wondering if they'll, these will do. It's just still only going on an angle. Maybe that one might work for that one. That might work for that side. It's just whether we can still get at them bolts that we need to get out there. So we've pulled some plates to stop the diff falling out and then we're now ready to lift the gearbox. Up, 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 and away. There we go. Someone said that you can't take the gearbox without splitting the tractor. Well, there you go. There's the gearbox and the tractor has not been split. There we go, so that's the uh, pinion shaft that drives on the diff, which is that one. I don't know what's wrong with it, ain't got no gas in it. So there we go, the gearbox is out. It is actually relatively small, I would say, for the size of the tractor. That's like the main gearbox, it's tiny, I think. Uh, David Brown is obviously famous for making gearboxes. That's why DB is in Aston Martin, because they make the gearbox for them. But I don't actually think they're that reliable. You know, the tractor looks pretty naked now with, with its bits missing. Anyway, that's about all for today. Um, tune in tomorrow for some more action. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Just as I finished editing, I noticed that Craig had put a video on of what we were at last night that he kindly invited us to. Had a great night. Anyway, there's a picture of it now, but also check it out on his YouTube channel. I've put a link below and you can see the awards last night that we were at in, a, in the Titanic Hotel in Liverpool.